Hello everybody, welcome back to Making It Up. I'm Isa and I am so excited for today's video. I'm bringing you guys something new and I think it's something that you're all going to love. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do your makeup like Miley Cyrus. Now I got this video idea from Cup of Jordy. She has an amazing fashion channel. She's an icon, she thrifts a lot. I personally love her and she does um, videos on how to dress like ex celebrity so she's done Zoe Kravitz, Olivia Rodrigo, and she recently did Miley Cyrus. Now I've been a fan of Miley Cyrus for life and I'm such a fan of this concept so I decided I wanted to take inspiration from her. Today I'm going to do that but with makeup. We're gonna do a deep dive on Miley's looks. I'm gonna show you what you can use to get her looks and also we're gonna do a little look inspiration to see how you can achieve her look. I'm very excited. Thank you to Cup of Jordy for inspiring me to do this. You're awesome. I don't know if she's ever gonna watch this but anyways I love her go check her out all credit goes to her but I'm really excited for this so if you're interested if you're curious and if you want to know how to do your makeup like Miley Cyrus then let's get started Okay, so first things first, let's do a look analysis. Let's talk about Miley's makeup style. I have here a few looks of hers, and I think I'm going to categorize them in neutral looks and more colorful looks. I think on stage and when she's performing or doing something a little crazy, Miley definitely doesn't shy from color and like graphic looks, something a little bit more dramatic. I love that. But when she's doing more like TV appearances, red carpets and stuff, she definitely pairs it down a little bit. She goes for more classic glam and on her everyday like from what I found from paparazzi shots it doesn't really look like she wears much but yeah I see like very colorful very sparkly looks and then I see more soft glam she does a lot of matte she does a lot of cooler tones Miley works closely with James Cagliardo I think that's Cagliardo's I don't know how to say his last name he's her makeup artist and obviously they work because the makeup looks that he does on Miley are amazing they always suit her and I love that I feel like it's very much a Miley and her makeup artist collaboration. He doesn't really disclose how he does her looks or what he uses for her looks. He's not one of those makeup artists that like tell you everything in their Instagram captions, but he does work with NARS closely. So I'm willing to bet there are a few NARS products involved when it comes to Miley's glam. But anyways, I can still pull inspo from his looks and use other products to achieve the looks. So yeah, now I want to dive a little deeper and actually talk about the different elements of her looks and I want to start with the base because the base stays consistent no matter what look she's doing. Miley likes herself some matte like satin matte skin which I love. There's very little blush it's mainly contour like she has very prominent cheekbones already and she enhances that with contour. I think it looks gorgeous on her. Sometimes she does highlighter but not really because she likes to keep it more matte. Never cakey though that's like my inspo for this year is to have Miley Cyrus skin. Let's go over a few products that you can either buy or maybe you already have in your collection that can give you a similar look to Miley's. Every good like porcelain matte skin look starts with a primer and I found this one by Peace Out. This is the Instant Pore Perfector. It has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and mushroom extract and it gives you like an instant blurring but it also gives you like long-term benefits. So this one looks really good from what I can see. Like she started off shiny. This is the product all by itself and this is the product under makeup. So I think this is the perfect product to layer under your foundation or if you're just doing like a skin tint. When it comes to a foundation or a skin tint, there are a few options you can do. If you're opting for something a little bit more natural, I recommend the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops. That's a blurring skin tint, so it will blur your skin, but it'll give you really good coverage as well. They have so many shades and it is a very comfortable product to use. If you want to go for something similar but more affordable, the new NYX Bear With Me Blur Skin Tint Foundation. I think this definitely has a little bit more coverage, more like medium coverage. From what I can see in the reference picture, it does give you that soft blurred look that you're looking for. We don't want it to be super chalky matte, and I think this could be a good one. If you're looking for something that will give you more coverage, if you're looking for a full out foundation, then I recommend something like the Armani Beauty Power Fabric Longwear High Coverage Foundation. This is a weightless matte foundation. It is pretty expensive, but it does give you that like matte look. 
you know as you can see here we have like regular skin no foundation and then you do here and it definitely looks blurred and matte almost powdery porcelain which is kind of the look that you want to go for it is a really good quality product I am willing to bet that this will give you the exact look that you're looking for without compromising like comfort for concealer you want to stay along those same lines the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer so so good really good shade range apparently everything is out of stock though like all the colors are out of stock but it is a really good concealer if you're looking for that soft matte look it does have good coverage it doesn't look super dewy under your eyes as you can see like the before and after you don't even need powder when you wear this so this is the concealer you want to use if you're going for a more soft powdery matte look if you want something much more affordable that still works, I recommend the LA Girl HD Pro Conceal. There are so many shades, and this is an HD concealer, but it is more satin. It isn't super dewy, it isn't matte either. It's so great, I love it. I've repurchased it time and time again, and it will always look very healthy and satin. Under your eyes, it will never look dewy or too cakey matte. And obviously, you cannot do like porcelain blurred skin without a powder. If you wanna go affordable, you can do Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. Again, it's gonna give you that blur that you want. They have a pretty good shade range. If you're someone who is a little bit drier though, you could opt out or do a little bit, only a little bit of this. Or you could also go for something like Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Talc Free Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I have tried this and this shit really does blur your pores. Like it is pretty magical. So I would recommend this one if you really wanna attack the <laughs> blurred matte skin look. As you can see, pretty oily, not blurred boom blurred it really does give you that effect i've tried it out but if you don't want to go out and purchase a matte foundation or something that's going to blur your skin you could just purchase something like this powder and that's immediately going to transform anything into a more blurry look moving on to the cheeks as i previously mentioned miley is all about contour and we need some good contour products to mimic her cheekbones i would recommend going either for something like the fenty match sticks these are matte contour sticks so again they're going to pair very well with a more matte blurred skin there are a lot of shades here and they do pull pretty cool tone they can be a little bit drier as well like more of a dry formula which can give you more of a defined look from what you can see here a product like this is gonna give you so much structure if you want something that's a little bit easier to manage I would go for benefit hula bronzer this is a bronzer so it will add a little bit more warmth but it still is pretty cool tone this is a very easy to use and blend and again it's a powder so it's not going to give you any dew. This is a great product if you already own it or if you like to contour but you also like to bronze. It's kind of a two-in-one so it's perfect for that. For blush, again, she doesn't really do much. It's mostly matte. So I would recommend going for something like the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blushes. I would probably go for the color Bliss because it is a matte nude pink and it is mainly like undetectable depending on how much you use. If you go all out with these, then and they do look very intense but if you only apply a tiny bit then I think this could be a good one and a little goes a long way so you get a good bang for your buck if you want something that is a powder then I recommend something like the makeup by Mario soft pop powder blush there are millions of powder blushes out there but this one just caught my eye because they do have matte finishes and for the most part they are very natural except for this super pink one but the one in desert rose which is a more mauvey it looks very much like a natural color that you could really just do a light dusting and it's gonna give you a bit of a flush but it's not gonna disrupt anything else as you can see in the model so this could be a good contender and again it is a powder blush so it is very easy for highlighter she doesn't really use much highlighter like I've seen a bit of strategic highlighter in a few of the pictures that I found but nothing so crazy like no crazy crazy highlighters so I would mainly recommend going for something like the hourglass ambient lighting powders because they are very very soft powders that you can use to set your skin but in this instance I would use them to highlight their a lot of shades here so you can find the one that works for you you could even get like a mini size if you don't want to splurge or if you already own this using this to highlight like very strategic points I think would give you a very similar look to Miley's look because it is very much a soft like really soft highlighter if you want something a little less pricey I would go for the halo glow liquid filter from elf this definitely has more shimmer like much more shimmer and dew but if you apply it before doing your foundation if you apply it strategically then this is beautiful because it will 
will give you that luminosity, but it isn't going to give you any shimmer. So I think it could also, if you just use a tiny bit of this, it could also give you a similar effect to the ambient lighting in the sense that it, there's not going to be any glitter or shimmer. It's just going to be highlighted. Now let's move on to probably my favorite part, the eyes. Miley's eye looks are unlike any other celebs eye looks, honestly, and I love them because she either goes for more natural colors, earthy tones, or she goes for super crazy fun colors. If she's doing more natural colors, she's pulling cooler tones. She does a lot of taupes, a lot of gray, she does black. She does like her winged liner though. She's almost always doing wings if she's doing more of, of a soft glam. Now, if she's going for color, that's when she's gonna bring all the sparkle and everything like, oof, everything dramatic. She does not shy away from doing a very bold statement eye and a bold lip, which I love that. But if she's doing color, she's either gonna be pulling silver, sparkle, purple, or blue. She does a lot of blue and I think it suits her perfectly. She does like a structured graphic look. She also does love to do more smoked out like wing shaped darker looks, which I love. They can be a little bit messier and I love that and I think they suit her perfectly because her eyes are pretty sunken, like she has sunken eyes and they just give her, I don't know, like this sultry look. When it comes to her lashes though, I have noticed she almost never does falsies. Like I've rarely seen a look of hers where she has like visible falsies. She may be doing very natural ones, but she loves herself a good like chunky natural lash. She has said, as I was doing my research, she mentioned somewhere in a magazine that she cannot live without her lash curler. Like she's always curling her lashes. So that might be the secret to her beautiful lashes. But I can tell she definitely piles on the mascara. She's not afraid of a bit of clumpiness. A key component of any of her looks, whether it be super natural or super glam, is a little bit of a chunky lash. For eyes, this is gonna be like a harder one because there are a lot of components to Miley's eye looks, like a lot of different components. First things first though, you wanna find a really good and cool toned palette because most of her looks are cool toned, even the ones that are more colorful, like there are cool tone elements to them. So I found a few, they're not exact, but some of them can work. The first one is ColourPop of Quartz Press Powder Palette. You get grays, taupes, there are a few mauve colors here that are maybe not the best, but in general, like it's a good cool tone palette and like you could definitely use these to create a Miley look and it's only $14. So good quality shadow at a good price. The Natasha Denona Glam Eyeshadow Palette. Again, another good contender, mainly cool tones, and there's a good range of mattes and shimmery shades. Where you can see here in the swatches, like they are totally cool tone. Like I can't see a warm tone in here anywhere, but I'm not entirely sure because there are a lot of shimmers and for the most part, Miley does, like if she's doing a cool tone shadow, she'll do mattes maybe with a bit of shimmer. So I think there are too many options here. And again, too many pink shades. I don't, I don't see Miley wearing a ton of pink shades. I think the best option would be the Give by Gwen Stefani I See in color clean multi-dimensional eyeshadow palette in the color Danger Zone. From what I can see, like there's a taupe, there's like a cooler tone bone shade, a cool tone brown that's a little bit deeper than the other one, and then we have like this black shimmer that could work as well. This one's mostly matte, and I think that's why it's a best bet because these are all the colors that Miley wears. So if you want something shimmery or a little more colorful, you can bring that in later. But I think as a base, this would be like the perfect palette or something like that like this would be the perfect palette. If you wanna get into the more colorful looks, I think the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paints are the way to go. They have so many colors, but if you wanna go the Miley route, I would recommend the Blue Monday Bright Sky Blue shade. And these are very easy to use. You can use them as liner, you can use them all over. And for $16, it's not too bad. This purple right here is New Karma. It looks a little bit lighter than what Miley has on. Like I think these are gonna be just perfect if you want to incorporate a little bit more color. If you want to get glittery or glitter topper, you want to get more intense, I recommend the Bodyography Glitter Pigments. They have so many shades. This purple one could also be perfect for a Miley look because it is so reflective. As you can see, like, wow, looks gorgeous. You could layer it on top of another color to make it more intense. They even have like more silver. This is like a silver diamond shade. Like you can't tell me that wouldn't be perfect for a Miley look. This could be a great add on to your neutral palette. For liner, I mean, she does a lot of wings from what I can see on her close-ups it does look like a liquid liner so I would go for something like the pro tip the Glossier pro tip this is my favorite uh, liquid liner that I've ever tried it's easy to use it doesn't budge and I think this is the perfect one because it works great with mattes but sometimes 
Liners like this tend to skip when it comes to shimmer. This one doesn't. Like, this one works well with shimmers as well, so I think this would be the perfect one. And then one other addition is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner. This could be another way to do glitter on top of the other shades, maybe the colorful ones or the neutral ones, because you can really sheer this out or make it very much like a, an intense glitter. As you can see, all these shades are beautiful. I'd definitely go for the silvery one. For mascara, you definitely want to go for something that is a little bit more voluminous. The Essence I Love Extreme Volume Mascara is where it's at. It's $4.99. It is one of the best mascaras that I've ever tried for volume. And I think if you're wanting to do Miley looks, this is such an affordable way to get her, her lash look because it is so, so volumizing, but it isn't clumpy. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't smudge. It's just perfect, very affordable. This will be the one that I go for if I'm doing a Miley look because it's so good. For the brows, I, again, very much consistent throughout all her looks from what I'm seeing. There's nothing crazy. I think she respects her natural brow. They're straighter brows, but I think she respects that. She maybe even tints them, but she always keeps them very well groomed. Nothing crazy. I think she's just living her life with her brows and she fills them in and that's it. I'd recommend going in for something like a Benefit Cosmetics, precisely my brow pencil, because she definitely has softer brows. It doesn't look like it's done with a marker or anything. It's either like a powder or a pencil like this one to be a little precise, you know, just a standard pencil. And if you wanna go further with the grooming or you're not down for filling in your brows, definitely go for the NYX Thick It Stick It Thickening Brow Gel Mascara. This is basically gonna fill and groom your brows for you. It's gonna be a two-in-one. And it, again, it doesn't have to look very intense if you don't want it to. And it is only $11, so this is definitely a good addition as well. When it comes to her lips, it is very, very easy. She's either wearing a nude lip or a red lip. I haven't really seen her in, in other shades and it's mainly satin matte, but from my research, I now know that she cannot live without her gloss. That's what she told Birdie. And again, she does mix and match. If she's doing something more soft glam, she usually tends to stick to more nudes. And when she's doing something crazier, again, she can do bold eyes, bold lips, but she also does bold eyes, nude lips. So, you know, the bottom line is that all you need if you want to recreate a Miley lip look is a nude lip and a red lip, and that's about it. I would say do a lip pencil just to define the lips so that it doesn't look messy. I'd go for the NYX Slim Lip Pencil Creamy Long Lasting Lip Liner. This is amazing. There are so many colors to choose from. I'd go for something that contours your lips. So depending on your skin tone, there are a few shades that are cooler toned that work to contour your lips and they work with nudes, they work with reds, with everything. But you could also go for a red lip liner if you're wanting to do more reds than nudes. This is just one of the best lip liners I've ever tried and it's $5 so you don't have to fuzz about that. If you want something a little bit more bougie or if you're going for a red, I obviously recommend a Gucci Velvet Matte Lipstick. This is a splurge. Yes, it is, but Miley also works with Gucci, so I'm willing to bet she has used some of these before. They have so many good flattering reds, and you can go for a lighter red if that suits you. You could also go for a darker red. I know Miley has used like orangey reds, burgundies as well. But there's a lot to choose from here, and the matte, the Velvet Matte Lipstick is great because it is matte, but it is very comfortable. Again, if you're looking for something very matte, long-lasting, you could also do the Nari's Power Matte Long Lasting Lipstick. This is very popular right now and they have a lot of reds. Miley's makeup artist also works with Nars, so maybe he uses some of these on Miley. I think it is a good product to use if you want, again, matte, comfortable, long lasting color. And then because Miley said she cannot live without gloss, we obviously have to include a gloss here. And I'd go for something like the Kosas Wet Lip Oil Plumping Treatment Gloss because it is very good for your lips, like it nourishes them, but at the same time it gives them shine. I go for more muted color from what I can see whenever she's doing gloss it is very nude there are definitely more lip glosses out there but I just think this one is a very comfortable alternative and I definitely would see Miley using something like this you know what I mean okay and now that we've talked about some products that you can use to recreate Miley's makeup looks let's get into actually attempting to recreate some of her makeup looks let me see my reference picture that I have here. It is a very glam, like soft glam look. Let's try to recreate that, shall we? I'm gonna start with the eyes and I think I'm gonna do this look and then we're gonna transition to another look that's gonna be a little bit more dramatic. I think that would be pretty fun. I don't know how it's gonna look because Miley has like really, her eyes are really sunken in. Mine kinda are, but they're hooded. Like there, you can see like a fold of skin. So it's not gonna be exactly the same. She does her crease like very defined, but she doesn't go outer corner crease. She literally just does crease with cool toned 
shadows. I'm gonna grab this baby brush and a taupe shade and just going on the crease. And you wanna be a little precise with this. You don't wanna over blend because she definitely, you know, you can see her crease, so. Hers is definitely more straight, but I think it's because her eyes are different than mine. I'm gonna use a lighter shade just to clean up and see how we're doing. So I'm gonna go in with a, a brush that looks like this. It's a little bit more flat. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of something deeper just to deepen the crease a tiny, tiny bit. Again, sticking to like cooler tones and just like stamping along that crease. And then going back in with the other brush and just further blending. Now it is time for a little bit of sparkle. She definitely has that like white base. So you could, if you wanted to stick to a matte look, I think you could definitely do that if you don't want the sparkle. But I want the sparkle and I'm seeing the sparkle here and I'm liking it. So I'm gonna go in with a bit of sparkle. So I'm gonna do that and hope that the sparkle fixes it all. And it isn't like a shimmer shade. It definitely is more like a sparkle. Um, taking it all over the lid. And having that base really does help because you do see the contrast between the lid and the crease. When it comes to her lower lashes, she just has a little bit of darkness in the outermost corner and we have nothing to connect it to. So we're just gonna do a little bit here. And in this instance, she has like a smaller wing. So I'm going to trace my wing first with eyeshadow and then I'm gonna go in with a liquid liner. I think that's gonna be my safest bet. You don't want the wing to be too big. Like you want it to stay pretty contained. So that's why I'm gonna do eyeshadow first to like trace the wing. I will live with that and I will just go in with a little bit of eyeliner. For mascara, from what I can see, she isn't wearing any falsies. She always curls her lashes, which is how she gets like super curly defined lashes. Let me curl my lashes, I hate doing this, and then I'll do just some mascara. For mascara, I'm going for volume. She has a few coats of mascara from what I can tell, so I'm going with my most voluminous mascara and layering this on top and bottom lashes. As for the face, in this picture, she does look a little bit more dewy than regularly, but I want to honor the matte. Like, she definitely does a lot of matte, so I'm going to be doing blurred skin with, like, highlighter in strategic places. She doesn't look overly dewy. She definitely looks like she has a little bit of highlighter. She looks healthy. And again, I'm using the underpainting technique because I can't get enough of it. But first, I'm going to go in with a blurring primer that isn't mattifying. So something that's just going to blur but it's not gonna dry out the natural oils in my skin. She does definitely have a lot of contour. Miley is the contour queen. She has beautiful cheekbones, but she also obviously loves her contour. And applying it everywhere that you contour. And I really want to define those cheekbones, so I'm going a little heavier with this today. I'm going to highlight with a little bit of a lighter concealer. And again, we want to super define the cheekbones, so I'm making sure to highlight under them. And then I'm gonna go in and actually conceal with a concealer that is closer to my skin tone. Now I'm going in with my base. I'm not going in with a full out foundation. I'm going in with something a little bit lighter that I know works for me and that looks natural, but it also covers. Powder is definitely the way to go. You don't have to pile it on to make your skin look matte, so don't worry about cakiness. For blush, from what I can see here, she has a little bit of a flush, but like a tiny, tiny bit, nothing too pink or peachy, so I'm going to go with something very subtle, and I'm just adding the tiniest bit of blush. For her brows, it looks very straightforward. Like she's always doing her brows and she like fills them in and grooms them. She doesn't really do anything crazy to them. I'm just going to fill them in a little. It's very straightforward. Like the brows are nothing crazy. And as for the lips, she has like a glossy pinkyish situation, very natural and comfortable. So that's what I'm gonna go and do. I'm still adding a little bit of lip liner. I don't know if she has any, but I feel like I need it. So a little lip liner to contour the lip. 
her pink looks a little bit too cool tone for my taste. I know it's not gonna look good on me. So I'm gonna go in with like a base layer of something a little bit more peachy brown, and then I'm gonna do the glossy color on top. Okay, and once that's done, our soft glam Miley look is complete. What do we think? What do we think? We're taking this soft glam look and we're turning into a more dramatic look. Miley has in one of the pictures that I found and there's just a lot more shimmer, like it's packed with shimmer. There's a little bit more smokiness in the wing and uh, she's wearing a red lip. So we're gonna switch things up a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with even more shimmer on the lid and I am being a little bit more mindful of the liner. Like I don't wanna get a ton of glitter on the liner. Okay, so this is good, but we definitely need to intensify it more. So I think I'm gonna actually go in with glitter. And this is a silver glitter, which is, I just know is gonna be so fucking messy. <laughs> okay, we're getting somewhere with the glitter. Okay, this is gonna be a mess to clean up later, but <laughs> glitter is on my eyes and the rest of my face, apparently. Um, This isn't exactly the look that I was intending. I wanted something a little bit more packed, but you know what? This is good. I don't want to pack even more glitter on my eye. I just don't think that would be great. Now I'm just going to intensify the wing a little bit. I'm just gonna add a bit of black on top and I'm gonna like smudge it out a little so that it looks a little bit more smoky and dramatic, but we don't need to do much to it because it got a little bit crazier than I wanted it to at the beginning. I'm gonna intensify the lower lash a little bit as well, only the outer part. Everything in general, it's a little bit more glam. So I wanna add a little bit more to my brows, but it's not gonna be super dramatic. I'm not gonna be doing a lot more, just, you see, it does give you a little bit more of a groomed look. For her lips, she is wearing red, but it is a little bit of a more like burnt orange red. So I'm gonna be combining two different lip colors, a redder lip liner and a more burnt orange lipstick, matte, of course. This one is a lot darker, so I'm not applying it like full out. I'm mixing it with the liner. Okay, and once the lip is done, then this is a more dramatic look. I wish I would have had something other than like silver glitter for my eyes. That's fine. I think this is cool too, and it adds something a little extra to the look. It's a little more dramatic, and uh, it looks cool. I All right, you guys, now that I'm sufficiently covered in glitter, that wraps up today's video, and you now know how to do your makeup like Miley Cyrus. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this kind of video. Give it a thumbs up, and let me know if you want more. Cool would you want to see next? Leave it all in the comments below because I had so much fun and I definitely want to do this again, but only if you guys are interested. Again, a huge shout out to Cup of Jordy for the inspiration. Go check out her videos if you're into fashion and you like thrifting. She's amazing. One of my favorite people on YouTube to watch, so shout out to her for the inspo. Had so much fun and I can't wait to do it all over again. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did today and I hope to see you right here for the next one. I love you. Bye. Mwah!